Before I begin, I just want to let you know that I don't have wood thrushes in my area, and although I do have the Swainson thrush, I've yet to hear one, so that is why I won't be mentioning them in my video. It doesn't mean I don't think they sing beautiful songs, they definitely do. I just don't have the videos or recordings to use. In this video, I will share some interesting facts I found about the song of hermit thrushes, and I will also share a little of my own thoughts and feelings. I hope you enjoy. Recluse, shy, drab bird found lurking in understories of far northern forests during summer months. The hermit thrush may not be the most colorful of birds, but it's certainly one of the best singers. There is simply something just unreal and out of this world about their song. Melancholy yet alluring. Almost too heavenly for this world, as if it were a gift from God. There really is no other bird songs like it in these forests around my home. The way it captivates with its hauntingly beautiful echo-like tones that reverberate through peaceful northern spring forests. How incomplete the symphony of these woodlands would be without the hermit thrush song. I have to say, although they are described as rather lackluster, their rich brownish color is set off beautifully by their reddish tail. I love it when I see a flash of its color as it flies through the forest. But compared with other birds, it doesn't really stand out. Their song, on the other hand, is their most distinguished attribute. I'm not alone in my feelings and thoughts. The hermit thrush has inspired many poets. It's even referred to as the poet's bird. And many describe their song as the finest sound in nature, with a musicality to it and a way of stirring the depths of emotion in the heart. Many over the years have seen it as a song of the heavens, sung by an angel. As I mentioned, the wood thrush and Swainson thrush are also up there with the hermit thrush. The American robin is a thrush as well, and while it does produce such a sweet song that we are all pretty familiar with, it doesn't compare with the three other thrushes that I mentioned. What is it about those thrushes? Why can they produce such awe-inspiring harmonic sounds? It's all due to the paired valve syrinx in the bird's throat, allowing it to produce notes independently and simultaneously from each half of its syrinx, resulting in the flute-like qualities of the song. The syrinx is unique to birds, and the name is also a Greek word for the musical instrument panpipes, which have multiple pipes. There are even many sounds in the thrush's song our ears don't hear. Other thrushes, however, must pick up on these sounds. Their song is described as sounding like, Oh, holy, holy. Ah, purity, purity. E, sweetly, sweetly. Between each phrase, the bird pauses. In total, the song is one and a half seconds long. Not surprisingly, the song of the hermit thrush has been researched quite thoroughly. And spectrographs have revealed that the songs of individual hermit thrushes are actually different from one another. The repertoire of males range from 7 to 13 song types. And apparently no two birds sing the same song. Males can alternate between each of their song types, but they never repeat the same song one after the other. Male birds sing to attract a mate and defend territory, and for female hermit thrushes, they prefer a male with certain singing characteristics, 
which means those singing characteristics carry on in the offspring. It is believed that it's the female birds who shape the songs of male hermit thrushes over time. Another interesting tidbit of information I found was that the melodies of the hermit thrush follow the same mathematical principles that underlie many musical scales. The males favor harmonic chords similar to those in human music. This could be why the song of the hermit thrush has such an alluring effect on people. Luckily, the hermit thrush is one of the most widely distributed birds in North America. If you are in or near their breeding location, you should be able to hear them, but don't expect to see them in your yard. These are forest nesting birds. You will have to get out in the woods for a hike to hear them. I think it's worth it though if you can. So what do you think? Is the hermit thrush one of the most beautiful bird songs you've heard? What are some of your own thoughts and impressions of this lovely bird song? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Happy birding.